Hi Chris, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out who has been missing you lately and why. Today is the 13th of July 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 0808. Now that can be your angel number. Go ahead and Google it. There could be some other important messages for you over there. Okay, Chris, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please, please show me who has been missing Aquarius lately and why? Queen of Cups and of first at the bottom of the deck. Okay, your mom could be missing you with the Empress here for some of you. Whether she's still alive or in heaven, okay? Um, we've got the Three of Pentacles here, Ace of Wands, and of first Five of Cups. There's someone who misses you being at work. This could be someone you work with, but it may not always mean that. It could indicate just teamwork, being te like being a team with you, uh, having you in the team, right? Could be in a romantic situation or work situation friendship we've got the eight of pentacles here it feels like this person is regretting over not putting in enough hard work into this connection uh, for not being reliable dependable king of pentacles here is in love first now this person could be a virgo capricorn or a taurus can be any sign some fire energy some water energy here pisces cancer scorpio can be any sign yeah so the world here this person could be missing you know being being able to do things with you either online or traveling things that set both of you apart from the rest huh interesting there's something very unique that both of you do together that they miss okay and we've got these seven of cups here in love first queen of pentacles this may have been someone that you know that you've decided to put in a lot of work effort into this connection but then it just didn't take off right ace of wands in love first like maybe the passion or the drive or the fire has the fire has dimmed but because Five of Cups is right here, so there's some disappointment in regards to this connection. Feels like this may be someone who has disappointed you. You thought things could have worked out between the two of you, but it didn't, right? While well, here you are, possibly embodying the Queen of Pentacles, just putting in a lot of time, a lot of effort, so giving, so nurturing, changing your world around. Like, it's like, your world revolves around this person. You prioritize this person, but they disappointed you, Five of Cups. So they may miss either traveling with you, maybe you met this person while you're traveling, or both of you may have talked about working together, starting something together, but it just didn't take off, right? Hmm, let's see more. Queen of Cups and more first, this is someone who has made you cry, Chris. You may feel like left out in the cold by this person. They miss your love, though. They miss your love. They miss your care, your, the nurturing side of you. And the Nine of Swords here is in love first. This is someone whom you may have depended, dependent on or they may have dependent on you. Could go vice versa. It could be both of you. Hmm. I see you giving everything that that you had for this person. And this person also assured you at one point in time that you're the one that they want to spend the rest of their life with because the Empress is somebody, it's a long-lasting energy, right? Long-term partner. Let's um, pull out a few of these romance angels. We're going to see more. Hmm. 
Nice. <laughs> that just flew out like that. Just flew out naturally. Unrequited love. Maybe this is someone I feel one person is giving more to this connection than the other, okay? We've got passion. So see, at one point in time, both of you shared like similar passion because it feels like right next to the three of pentacles here. So both of you were sharing something that both of you are passionate about, but then it didn't take off. It could also just mean that this connection was very passionate at one point in time. And then we've got love yourself first. And this passion card can indicate physical intimacy as well. Maybe this person does miss being physically intimate with you. Love yourself first. Romantic feelings. It is safe for you to love very soon. Hmm. This card, for some of you, maybe the inequality of this connection with the unrequited love and the love yourself first. Maybe someone may have put in themselves first and may have neglected the other person. Hmm. Either you may have felt neglected by this person at one point in time, or they may have felt neglected by you. Romantic feelings. This, for a lot of you, is a romantic connection between you and this person. May not always mean that for some of you, so many pentacles here could be someone you work with, okay? Could also be both work with and also have romantic feelings for each other. So they miss sharing this romantic, it could be romantic um, texts, kisses, you know, romantic embrace in some way, shape or form. Something that gives you like this butterfly in your stomach kind of thing. It is safe for you to love very soon. So this is someone you thought it was safe for you to love. And again, it feels like both of you may have been working towards something, but there is a disappointment here. Hmm. They could be missing you and maybe the very soon card can indicate this person is going to come in very soon to want to speak with you, to want to work things out with you, with the three of pentacles here. Hmm. Full sort of verse, yeah, they've been very restless. They've been thinking a lot about you, that's for sure. I don't know why I'm getting this energy. The Three of Pentacles sometimes can indicate third party situation if you are involved with this person and there's someone else in the picture. There could be promises about, okay, very soon I'm going to get rid of the third party and that it's going to be safe for us to be together. This part of the storyline is just for some of you, not not for all of you, okay? I'll pull out a few of these uh, love oracles. Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Maybe this is a spirit's way of saying to surrender. For those of you going through um, a situation where it's just not fair or it's not equal, okay? Maybe this is also someone that you've surrendered. As in, you know, it is what it is and I'm just gonna let go. Of, uh, of this connection or trying to have control over it. We've got passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. So this is someone. See, you've got two cards that says passion. <laughs> so there's a double confirmation, Chris. This person is, pa is passionate about you. They could be missing being passionate with you, okay? physically it could be physically mentally emotionally or sharing the same kind of passion for something okay let's see one more balance love is not always agreeing 
not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Maybe this connection was very challenging or is very challenging. I think this person misses your support. You may have supported them. Hmm. Maybe also this connection is lack of balance. You know, this is why the unrequited love is right here. Feels like maybe one person is more invested than the other. Uh, whatever the case is, this person misses when things were passionate, when things were balanced between the two of you. All right, Chris, this is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. And for those of you who like to learn the, the basic meaning of all 78 tarot cards, um, check out my latest video, okay? And yep, that's it. Take care, Grace. Hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Bye.